So this first tip is how you're going to get your doll's eyes to close. Um, but you're going to take a very small piece of a lash, not a big section like that. You don't want it to look like she's lost part of her eye, um, her eyelash. Just a very small piece so that it looks like both of her eyes are evenly closed. Like where it screws into there is where you're going to want to hold it. And you're going to want to put the angle on the ground. So, so that you can see the angle that I'm using, I'm going to be putting her like that. So that you can see the angle that I'm using, but you're not going to want to put it at this angle because then you can obviously see the hand. So you're going to want to take your hands on that section and then you're just going to want to move her feet so that in a walking fashion, like so. So just put one foot and then put them together and then put one foot and then put them together. So you're not going to go like one foot, other foot in front, other foot, because that looks like she's marching. And unless you want it to look like she's marching, I definitely don't recommend it. So put one foot then both together. One foot, then both together. So now I'm going to put it on the ground so you guys can see that section part of it better. One foot, together. One foot, together. One foot, together. The next technique that we're going to be working for is arms. Um, what you don't want to do with this is clasp the arm right there and go like that, or even like clasp the arm here and go like that. Because obviously that looks a little bit out of control and strange. Um, so what you're want, going to want to do is there's actually a couple of options you can do. You want to hold the very edge on the bottom and you want to make a gesture like that. You want to be able to do that. That way you can go kind of, depending on the the state your cameras and if you're holding it then it's going to be very hard and you're not going to want to put an angle like that because then you can see it you want to put it in an angle so that you cannot see the hand and you can it looks like the doll's arm is moving and not your hand you can also take it right there and take it so that if like you go like this you actually don't see the hand because um the rest of the arm covers it up or the camera does so like your doll can hold the camera and make it look like she's the one controlling it. If you want to make it like a, hi, I am controlling the camera right now kind of video. So yeah, that's definitely one of the only main techniques that you can do. But um, you want to do it really slowly if you're going to make a stop motion or if you're going to make a slowed down video. You're definitely going to want to make the gestures a lot faster Whoa. Um, and more precise. But you could, if you're making a stop motion, make them s more pictures. That would make it more precise and make it look more like a live video. It's just been slowed down. Head movements can be one of the trickiest parts if you don't have a tripod. If you have a tripod, it is very easy to make your dolls show off her emotions. Whoa. Um, without showing your hand, like, you don't want to go like that. You can put your hand way up there and go like that and move the whole body so it gives the illusion of showing the head. But then in this case, you can put your dolls, like, you want to grab the neck if you're going to be turning it and you're going to want to put the camera at an angle so that you can't see it. So in a lot of this, um, the art of, like, making dolls move and stuff, it's just not showing your hands. So you don't want to have, like, your hands moving the legs or you don't want to really do that so it's really obviously you're holding the doll and you just kind of make it so that you can't see the hands even though they are there whereas with puppets they have the wands on their hands and you move the wands and the hands look like they're moving on their own I think that's pretty clever but you'll often see the wands and with dolls you won't see those things but you might see the hands which is the tool that would usually be controlling the wand obviously but yes and then, of course, there's just plain old putting the hands up before and then just moving the body. And that is a really, really good idea. I think that, um, or you could hold on to the ankles and you could just go, woo! Um, that's also a really good idea, but then you won't have as much hand gestures. But obviously, she looks excited, so you can just kind of do things with her hands to show that she's definitely excited. I'm